All right, guys, so I'm in the process of um, tying a few leaders before I go uh, go after some holdovers tomorrow. So I just wanted to make a quick video and uh, just show you all what I'm going to do here. Um, to begin with, um, the number one choice when tying your leaders are the kind of material you're going to make your leaders out of. So I'm going to go through some of my notes real quick on um, what each material is made out of. So fluorocarbon, right? So fluorocarbon um is so they're virtually invisible underwater is what the general consensus is uh which makes them ideal for clear water situations and when the fish are weary uh they also have a low stretch profile so they provide better sensitivity and allow for a better feel for the bites so like if you're going after i think for flounder these would be a little you'd have a little bit of an edge there just because i know some of those bites are harder to uh to feel um all right so also fluorocarbon is uh denser than water so it sinks faster which has its certain advantages and uh so the general consensus is that fluoro is more resistant to abrasion which is like rocks and anything that your leader is going to rub up against whether it's like docks or any kind of material that's in the water um so when it comes to mono so mono are more visible underwater uh, compared to fluoro so they are less effective in clearer water and then they have more stretch than fluoro so that's kind of one of the pros of having uh, mono is that it's stretchier so it has a little bit more give all right and then uh, fluoro uh, floats a little better so if you're working a top water lure you'd probably want to use or sorry mono is a little it floats a little easier on the water so you might want to use mono if you're looking at uh, top poppers or if you're working things on top of the surface and the number one thing is that mono is actually cheaper a lot cheaper in my opinion than um than floral so that's one of the benefits so i have 20 pound here and then i have 60 pound um i'm gonna go with some 20 pound i'm going after holdovers i don't i don't think i'm gonna really need a lot of the the strength here so i'm gonna go here. So what, what we do need here is the swivel. So I use a Spro power swivel here. It's gonna be 230, which I think might be a little overkill, but I think I'd rather, you know, these swivels are tiny. There's really not much uh, benefit to going less than 220 in my opinion. Like they're, that's pretty small. So I'm gonna go with this swivel and then I'm gonna make two separate rigs. I'm gonna make one with the snap, the PKK, uh, fast snap and then one with the tactical anglers uh, 75 pound um, power clip all right start off I'm just gonna go right through come back in a little bit of a knot right through there There you go. All right, so that's one end. Then in terms of uh, diameter or length of these, I like to go, you know, 16 inches to 18 inches. I don't think you really need to overdo it with the with the leader length. Um, I know some people when I when I do live line. I like to go up to 30 inches potentially but for tomorrow we're just going over after some holdovers so it really shouldn't be too bad right. there we go. these are the bkk uh fast snaps they have this little compartment here for the for the knot and then you can put your your jig head right in here. Alright, so go through there. Come back through. And then you make put it through the loop. Make sure you don't release the end of it. That's nice. It's 
No, it's not. Look at that. That's what you're trying to go for right there. So there it is. There's one. And then you just replicate this for a few and put it into your leader wallet and you'll just have them ready to go. So again, the BKK Fast Snap. This is rated for up to strength of 80 pounds. These are, these are awesome. I love how they have the two compartments, one for the lure and one for the knot. And then the really popular tactical anglers clip, 75 pound one. They have a portion up here for the for the knot, and then right here is where you snap your your jig head, and it's supposed to go back and forth in that in that section, right there. All right, and then the spro swivel. You can re you can't really go wrong with the spro swivel, even if you go lower on the pounds, the test pound. It, it's fine. I just don't really see the benefit of not going up to the higher pounds. It's really not that big of a difference in terms of like the the length of the swivel. So this is a size two, uh, holds up, it's tested for 230 and comes in a 50 pack and these are like 12, 11 or 12 bucks and you probably don't need much for a whole season. You could, this will last you a whole season. I have the, the J-Braid Fluoro Leader here that I used, 60 pound. This is more if I'm going after stripers in the surf and in uh, areas with rocks high abrasion but for holdovers 20 pound super clear the fish can be a little finicky uh this this should do it this is the casking uh covert and i got it on sale recently so i'm going to try it out see how it goes but that's pretty much it in terms of mono mono is really cheap if you just go on amazon and look up mono leader you can't really go wrong there's you know the floral is expensive so with mono you can kind of get a variety of it you can probably get like a 30 pound 50 pound and maybe like a 70 pound just if you're doing like jigging in the canal or more abrasion or things of that nature could happen but that, that's essentially what i do every every spring i like to set up you know 15 of these leaders and have them in my leader wallet on my surf bag ready to go no one wants to be tying rigs out there at night or in the surf and waste time so these things are ready to go. You can really feel the flex on, on these ones. Uh, one quick tip, if you're using 60 pound or, or heavier, what I like to do is I like to clip the, the swivel right in here. So I'll show you. Come on. Clip it right in, and then I take um, a towel on either end here and I just pull just to make sure those knots are good and again this is only if you're using crazy heavy uh, leader like 60 pound sometimes when you're tying those um, the the rigs for live live lining they can be a little tough to get that final to get that knot to go all the way down and sit tightly against the the uh, swivel or the snap so I, I tend to do that sometimes again you just pull boom and give it a little test too so that's that's all in terms of the leader uh let me know if you all have any questions and i look forward to seeing you out there the season's ready to begin